Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I will show you how we can download a high resolution Google Street View map as a PDF or as an image absolutely for free. Now the application that we are going to use for this purpose is called Google My Maps. Now I think most of you might be familiar with Google Maps and there are a few differences between the two when it comes to Google Maps and Google My Maps. However, we are not really going to get into the details of these differences in this video and instead we're just going to jump in and make use of Google My Maps to generate a nice looking high resolution map. So what we're going to do is we are going to head over to our Chrome browser and we can go to mymaps.google.com and as you can see over here we don't really have any uh, pre-prepared maps so I'm going to actually create my very first map uh, together with you guys. So to create a new map all we have to do is just click over here and after that you'll be presented with this kind of a map canvas. I guess you guys might be familiar with this because this is the exact map uh, that you will get when you use Google Maps which I guess at some point of time we all have used at least once. Over here you can see that we have a couple of options. By default they assign a layer over here and if you would like to make changes to the name of this layer or the heading of this layer all you have to do is just click over here and and you can actually make changes to the name of the layer. And we are going to do that but uh, just in a bit. So first of all what we are going to do is we are going to zoom into the area of interest. Now, now for this particular example I'll be zooming into Dublin because in the map that I'm going to create I would like to show how to get to a certain point. So basically the directions if you were to drive from point A to point B what sort of a road uh, that you're supposed to take. But just as a side note, you can actually use Google My Maps to display a number of things. But uh, and probably in one of the upcoming tutorials, we are going to explore all those different options. But for this tutorial, we are going to keep things as simple as possible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to this Add Directions button, and over here, I would like to show how to get to the Dublin port from the K Club. So as soon as I give the information of the originating point and the destination, you can see that it's basically showing us the direction that we are supposed to, or the path that we are supposed to take if you were to actually drive. And uh, if you would like to make changes, let's say if you were to cycle instead of driving, then your path would be something different like this. So I think for this example, let's stick with cycling instead of driving. And right over here under this base map option, you can see that we can actually make use of a number of different types of maps. Again, this is something to be actually explored in depth, but uh, most likely not in this particular tutorial. So for this example, I'm just going to stick with uh, this map, I guess. So as I told you guys, to keep things simple, I'm just going to print this map as an image. And before I go ahead and do that, I think I can get rid of this layer, which I'm not really using. I also can give a title for this map. Let's say directions K club to Dublin port. All right, looks good. And once you're ready to create the high resolution image, all you have to do is just go to the menu over here and select print map. Now here you can see that we have to make a couple of choices. Now the paper size, I would generally recommend you to go with the highest, in this case, that's A3 size. And uh, depending on the orientation that you prefer to have, you can actually make the appropriate choice as well. Now in my case, I think it's uh, going to be landscape. And as the output type, I can select image. Well, if you'd like to have a PDF uh, printed out, you can do that as well. And once we are done with that, we can go ahead and click print over here. So by default, you will get this sort of a, a window through which you can actually go ahead and create your PDF uh, if you wish to do so. But uh, in my case, since I'm trying to save this into a JPEG file, I'm just going to cancel this out. And after that, all I have to do is right click over here and select save image as. Navigate to your desired working folder. You can just give a name. And after that, click save. All right, now if you head over to that particular folder you can see the file that we created and before I open this up 
Let's go to the properties and have a look at the details. So over here you can see the dimensions uh, 5152 pixels by 3528. So it's actually quite a high resolution image. And as you can see over here, the file is actually getting saved as a JFIF image file. So now let's go ahead and double click over here to open this up. And as you can see, this is pretty much how the image looks. Now what's interesting is that if you were to zoom in, you will start seeing that the map hardly loses any detail. Now of course if you overdo it, you're actually going to notice some sort of a pixelation. But you can see that you actually can zoom in without losing the details of the map, which is pretty cool, isn't it? Alright guys, so that was a quick tutorial to show you guys how we can create high resolution maps using Google My Maps application. Now stay tuned for a complete breakdown of each and everything that we can actually do using Google My Maps uh, in the upcoming weeks. So thanks a lot for watching guys. I'll see you all in the next video.